Wow, so here's a brown out. I came in the house and the, the uh, I know you can't tell, but the light's totally dim. And the modem, the DSL modem is recycling. And this is usually what happens when there's low voltage, like a low voltage surge when something big kicks on. And I uh, probed the line, 105 volts. This is the other the other leg of the line. 102 volts. I've never seen this before. This is a different house. 106. And this is straight into the straight in oh look at it. it's kind of like bouncing around. Okay, at 4 o'clock, it is now 102 volts. But look at it bouncing all over the place. And I verified this in several different houses with two different meters. Well, it's 6.30 and it's come up to... 106 volts starting to cool off a little bit but that's still too low so it's 830 let's see where we're at here 100 volts still and I called Edison and they said oh low voltage problem that's not a priority five business days and I said well wherever the high resistance point is it's gonna burn and and be a total blackout long before then I looked out and looked at the street and all the street lights are really dim and flickering we could go out there there's a street light Here's what the tube TV looks like, the CTC28 on 102 volts. See how it's a big gap on both sides? And that's exactly what the line voltage is doing right there. Line voltage is bouncing up and down just like that. It's a it's a high resistance joint and it's going to burn burn through and become a total blackout at some point. But hey, five days, I, you know, you can't even work on tube equipment at 102 volts. Most of it won't even hardly work. To get the router working and the, uh, the lights, I got my Variac hooked up and I got it turned up to 130 volts. Yeah, that's what the line voltage is doing. You can see the voltage fluctuation much more sensitive on an analog meter. I would also add that I'm probably the only one that notices this because most all new equipment is uh, switching mode and regulated. Even the CFL bulbs use a switcher in the bottom of them and they're fully regulated so you would never notice a difference in brightness from say 100 volts to 130 volts and of course all modern TVs and laptops and switching mode um, uh, wall warts you know will regulate fully from about 90 volts to 130 volts so 
I'm probably the only one noticing this in the whole neighborhood. Pretty, pretty pathetic. No one would ever suspect low line voltage of causing problems. These days, anyhow.